Well, I took uh, Sam to the foundry this morning. Time for me to do something different. All right. I got uh, a 24 inch uh, true form armature. And uh, the support I got from Sculpture Depot. And it was a designed by uh, Karen's husband. She's the owner of Sculpture Depot. And uh, so I'm just uh, going to uh, use that. I caught that studio on the way back from Bozeman. And uh, got the base started for this piece. I don't know how much I'll get done today. Uh, I may just mostly work on the uh, the design. Just that after I figure out my photos. If you're not familiar with uh, true form armatures, this is the uh, 26 inch, like I said, and uh, I never use the foot uh, indicator. I always straighten it out and put and drill a hole for it, and, and uh, that anchors the legs to the uh, base. Uh, what, some key things to remember when you're using a true form armature and uh, is never ever bend down at the bottom to bend the knee because uh, there's no wire going through this uh, armature. It's foam, hard foam. And so you always grab At, uh, just below and above the uh, po point where you're going to be bending. Even when you're bending that. Okay. Same with the uh, leg. <laughs> what fell off on its arm? Did I mention that uh, you can remove parts? See, I want to leave enough room for a base, and so I'm going. I would normally run the wire down into the board, you know, in a hole. But I think what I'm going to do, let me uh, grab my long screws. Thank you. 
some uh, electrician's tape. I'm going to anchor that wire to that screw. Imagine you can take the uh, <laughs> top off. Okay, put that back on. I think I'm going to leave it at that for today and uh, come up with something that will work. I don't know. I'll work on this idea. That gives you an idea how the armature system works, and uh, just a matter of tightening everything down and, and uh, I'll figure it out. All right, good night, everybody.